Hello and welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program, episode 98, almost about the ton, or at the ton, I should say. Jesus, I'm um, getting so excited, got all my words muddled. Today we're just going to do two fairly entry level, well, that's probably a bit nasty, South Island Pinots. One from Cheviot Hills, from the, there we are, the Mount Beautiful from David and Lee Teese, who uh, is regarded as kind of one of the top 50 business intellectuals in the US. And this is what's funny about these two wines. Both of the people who own these live outside, generally, of New Zealand, although they are New Zealand owned and they were raised and bred in New Zealand. The second one is um, Sam Neill's The Picnic 07 Pinot, and most of you have been familiar with uh, Sam Neill, so there's no explanation needed there. I hope if you do want an explanation of who he is, drop me a link on the kind of message board below and I'll answer. But the first one is from Cheviot Hills, and the Pinot kind of vineyard just sits below this kind of gully there. Um, it's uh, 40, 40 minutes an hour north of um, Christchurch on the South Island. And you get a, I had to try to taste these wines yesterday and they were so closed and they underwhelmed me and they were fairly boring so I thought I'd give them a day to just settle out. They were just like a bit kind of uptight kind of, I don't know who I am kind of angry teenager. Now, hopefully they will be a bit more expressive in their early 20s type thing. Yeah, it's much better. It's a much more kind of balanced nose. It's you get the earthy kind of undertone there, a bit of kind of mushroom, a bit of funkiness to it. Then you get the kind of ripe fruit there. So it's a bit more in balance. Yesterday it kind of it just gave me kind of cherry and that was it. Um, quite dull. And I did decant these wines by the way, and uh, this is like uh, Courtney Sit kind of asked me about decanting, of which I will do a a little demo on how to decant. You definitely get that, get that burnt cherry, you almost get a, a kind of cream, strawberry cream pie, as if you've got that pastry base, so you get that kind of, the earthy kind of character from that. The whole lot of strawberries, a lot of cream on top, mash it round, shove it in your mouth like you're at Wimbledon, and you get a bit of that but then you get a dryness and a minerality, which is really quite funky, which I quite like. And then you get that kind of savouriness to the back end. 86 points. Not a bad, bad start for episode 98. This next one, no explanation needed, Picnic 07. Um, fairly iconic wine in New Zealand. Everybody loves it because it's Sam Neill. Dean Shaw is the winemaker. The winemaker from Mount Beautiful with Sam Weaver, that kind of crazy pom, who makes Churton wines, uh, and they're pretty damn good. Dean Shaw, everybody knows kind of Dean Shaw from Central Otago, makes a lot of Central Otago wines, um, kind of along with kind of Alan Brady and um, Dean Shaw, Carol Buns and all that there. Uh, oh, and Nick Mills, I guess, kind of all the kind of pioneers down there. A, you get a kind of jamminess to it. Not in a negative way, but you get that kind of strawberry jam with a bit of cherry, a bit of spice, maybe a bit of cinnamon in there on the nose. Less earthy on the nose. It's more about bright primary fruit, although it has settled down a bit, which is quite good. You get a lot of primary fruit in your mouth. It's got good acid. Nice, fine kind of coca tannins. Kind of like she's a easy kind of late twenty dollar wine. Come pick me up, play with me, have, have a bit of fun. I'm not going to blow your mind intellectually at all. I'm just going to make sure that you get a steady, rock steady Eddie evening, and that's what she does. Um, 
and I'd probably agree with Bob Campbell, gave it 84 points, so I'd probably go kind of 84, 85. Two pretty tidy, decent wines there. So until next time, I'll catch you later. <laughs>